Down here in the Florida Keys, there is a big man with an even bigger heart. He's a great guy, and he will literally do anything for his friends. But I'm here to warn you, do not get between him and his dinner. We're in Sugarloaf Key, and we're being guided by Bear Holman. This is Guided. A cold front has moved into the Florida Keys. I'm here to chase fish and tell stories. Bear Holman's story is one where fishing could turn tragedy into an incredible, rewarding, and full life. I was born in Corpus Christi, Texas, and, you know, we used to fish all the time when we were down there. And then, you know, I mean, I was a little, I don't even remember any of it, but my dad used to take us and, you know, we'd go fishing. We used to go to Bob Hall Pier and they'd go shark fishing and stuff. Our parents were the coolest people on the planet. Dad's military, mom's a quintessential backup. She keeps the men going straight and everything happening and does the books and keeps us happy and fed and pretty much is the best mom on the planet. Before school, we'd go hunting and get home from school and go run around on bicycles and go catch bass. And the one thing Bear did as a youngster was excel at football. I love hitting people so much that it was unbelievable. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's like my favorite thing to do. The coach actually watched him play in eighth grade and decided that he was good enough to start varsity as a freshman, so they made him come over his last few games and play JV high school football game so that when he actually got to high school, he started both ways on varsity for four years. <laughs> shark a doodle -doo. <laughs> Oh! Good job, man. Man, how about that? We ain't landing him yet, but... Uh-oh, a little head shaky. How's he feel? Um... Feels like a shark. Feels like a shark. Pretty darn good, if you ask me. Yeah, nice. Bear went to college on a full scholarship. I ended up going to the University of Tulsa playing football, and, uh... It was a lot of fun. I mean, I feel fortunate that I got to do that. I mean, it was a really good time in my life. It was a lot of fun. Bear, at any given time leading up to his collegiate career, was as good as it gets. When he gets to college, he kind of becomes a mediocre, average, above average player. But he's so damn strong and so fast and so driven that he has the ability to go pro. Bear's dream to go pro is shattered in one defining moment. I got, uh, got hit and like, I was tackling a dude and we got hit in the lower leg. We were going down. Cornerback came hit me with my leg and went like this. My lower unit went the other way with another guy. Yeah. Like a little pretzel. What happened? Uh, broke my back. Ripped uh. my left side joint out. Broke my L4, my L5. Yeah, I like, tried to play like four more downs, and then I was like, I couldn't bend over anymore. I was like, oh, that sucks. <laughs> so. While in recovery for his broken back, doctors give Bear difficult news. They told me I was going to have a desk job the rest of my life, right? So I was like, well, that ain't going to work, right? So ended up, uh... so yeah, I'm, I'm about to cry. I haven't thought about it in looking years, dude. <laughs> Hey, give me a minute. That's so weird. <laughs> One of those things that just gets taken away from me. Just... Coming up, Bear deals with the new realities of his life. <laughs> 